torpedo room. Reload, one and two. Reload, one and two, let's go. Periscope deck. Periscope deck. This, this ain't no time to be mooning over a hunk of fluff. Hunk of fluff? I'll have you know that Nancy is my fiancé. Hey, that rhymes. I know a fan dancer that looked like her. They got a whole lot in common. Fan dancer? I'll have you know that she won the state plowing contest last year. Men's division. Up Periscope. There's something. Take a look. Better let me see her first. Uh -huh. Modified Matuki. 1926. Made in Aminato. Mind if I take a look? I work here too, you know. Uh, just a minute, please. Major repairs recently. Writing light. Must be on the way home. Yes, which is a home. Cruising range, 4,000 miles. Hey, Murphy, get this off the trail. Aye, sir. That's a perfect setup. Let's sink her. Make ready bow tubes. Ready, bow tubes. Bow tubes ready. Approaching final bearing. Range, 1,000. Angle on the bow. 20 degrees starboard. What do you get for speed? 50 knots. This is Lieutenant Commander Stoker. Japanese destroyer approaching Torpedo Junction. We've only got three fish left. Let's make up count. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I, I told you they put you aboard the hottest boat in the Navy. This patrol will make a man of you. That is, if you don't kill me first. Bearing, mark. 25 degrees starboard. Stand by to fire. Stand by to fire. Fire one. Fire one. Number one away hot, straight and normal. Number one, a miss. Stand by, number two. Number two. Range set, bearing set. Fire two. Fire two. Number two, they didn't eject. Number two, running hot and tubes, sir. It'll arm itself in seconds. Automatic cutoff jammed. Automatic cutoff jammed. I'll try and release it manually. Right. One wrong move, and we've had it. We have no alternative. High speed screws bearing down on this, Captain. She spotted us. Let's take her down. The fish running wild on the tube, but dive is all it'll take to set it off. Number two, a miss. 
Fire three. Fire three. Number three fired. Number three away, okay. Hit, a good one. Must have hit the magazine. We got her. Nice work, men. You did it, sir. You, you got us off the well, hook. Just two minutes, Lieutenant. Get back to your stations. There's no order to secure. I think even he'd loosen up at a time like this. Yeah. And they make him a PCO, some prospective commanding officer. Yeah, he's got acid running through his veins. Him and my wife should get together. They'd make a great pair. <laughs> I wish they would. You know, you know I've never seen him smile. And I, don't, I can't trust a guy that don't smile. Hey, hey, what about Nelly? One hit, the shoe comes off. We're all out of fish, baby. I guess we don't get to take a good look at you this time. Yeah. Eight patrols and we're always short a couple of hits. Move away, man. It was my fish that sunk her. Yeah, it was my fish. Oh, wasn't it, Chief? Flip a coin for it. Call it, Sam. Tam. What else? Headwinds. It's yours, Ed. <laughs> hey, good way, man. <laughs> Next time our baby will make it. <laughs> nice work down there, Turner. Quick thinking. Thanks. Down Periscope. Take it on 150 feet. Something wrong? What's a Latuki class destroyer doing in these waters? Intelligence accounted for them all in the Philippines. We've seen nothing but overage destroyers and minesweepers. Well, they're moving all their good stuff. Well, when you find out, let me know. Puzzle shaping up, but not the answer. Mind if I do some more work on these notes? Oh, go ahead. You know, it'd be worth some gold braid to take just one poke at him. Treats me as though I were a steward instead of an executive officer. Well, I guess we can survive one tour with him, huh? <laughs> well, it hasn't been easy. Take over, Bill. I'm due for some chow. A radio Pearl Harbor for a rendezvous with a fish tender. I don't like empty torpedo tubes. You know what Ellis told me? He don't ever take a drink. No. How to get aboard the Seahawk? I just don't like this stuff. You got an obligation to the boat, to us. If the word gets around a, a Seahawk, man, you'll have transfers to run on a coal barge. No kidding? I didn't realize it. My boy, starting with you, every new crewman's got to go through an initiation. Like a fraternity. Only those that'll pass will be accepted. Otherwise, out you go. Honest, Chief, I like it here. Well, this beats teaching logistics at the Naval Academy, doesn't it? Quite a transition. It's a little hard to shake loose that ivory tower. Are you sure you want to, Mr. Turner? Theoretically, yes. It's just that I haven't evolved a working formula. Well, it might help if you stopped thinking of it as a formula, something you get out of textbooks. It's uh, more a question of instinctive human relations, don't you think? We're all men here, Turner, just like you. We have our private worlds we love and hate, and we're at war. Now, the galley cook has someone waiting for him to come home, the same as you do. Here I am preaching. It isn't even Sunday. I asked for it. From Pearl. We don't get a fresh supply of fish. We're ordered back to Pearl. I don't get it. We're not due for an overhaul. Something big in the works. The Seahawks going to be a part of it. 
Maybe we go south from Pearl. Maybe Australia. Yeah, that could be it. This is something I've got to break in person. Attention, all hands. This is the captain. Brace yourselves for a shock. I know how this will pain you. We've been ordered back to Pearl Harbor. <laughs> See me, sir? Yes, have a seat. Thank you. Here's my report on your potential as a skipper. You may read it. Do I have to, sir? No, that's my own idea. It's a negative report, Mr. Turner. I gathered as much. It states you have courage, you have initiative and resourcefulness. But for all that, in my opinion, you will not make a good commanding officer. You're not able to generate the kind of rapport between yourself and your men that makes effective fighting aboard a submarine possible. I appreciate your frankness, sir. Is that all? Yes. Oh, Turner. Washington has a way of ignoring such reports, if that's any satisfaction to you. No, sir. Not at all. After due deliberation, we have decided to let you be initiated into the Seahawk Society of Beachcombers. Rise. <coughs> Excuse me, miss. Now, the initiation rites begin when we hit Pearl Lamar. First thing we do is hit the beach. The beach? River Street. Hotel Street. <laughs> Teach you the difference between torpedo juice and coolie house. I kind of promised Nancy that I, I would... Coolie house a drink, boy. A drink. I had a long talk with my mother before... And I am with the... all mothers. How do you know to avoid temptation when you don't even know what it is? Now, you see what I mean? Now, the difference between a Seahawk man and any other sailor... Seahawk man, he knows what to do with temptation. You said it. Is it going to cost any money? Oh, only as much as you got. But think of the education. Then I can't do it. I'm planning to buy Nancy something extra special for her birthday. A tractor. A what? A tractor. So I, I guess I'll have to resign. We've got to think of something. The other submariners find out about him, they'll laugh us out of Pearl. I've got an idea. What? It won't work. Why don't you open your mouth? I can't spend any of Nancy's tractor money. We get her father's north pasture when we get married, so I guess I just can't join your club. Stay here. Kid won't spend any money. What are we supposed to do? Uh, we gotta think of it like an emergency. Sort of like a welfare case. We'll all put in about five bucks a piece. Oh, yeah. right. 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 Now, right. come on, fellas, right. knock it off. Uh, now, look, you want the other submarinist to run about him? Now, come on, fork it over. Come on, get it out. Oh, you know how many five oh, bucks? Oh, yeah. Come on, here's my Come on, give me another one. Hey, 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 no Next time it'll be my turn to be initiated. you're going to get your own boat this time. And it better be this time, Captain. I'm reaching the dangerous age. Well, I mean it. This is a young man's service. I'm afraid I'm edging out of that category. If I don't make it soon, it'll be a desk for me. The boardman was pretty receptive last time I talked to him. <laughs> I hope you're right. I want it so bad, I can taste it. Good man in his own way. 
See that pig boat material, though, he won't be back. I, for one, I'm not sorry to see him go. Well, I've got a blonde to surprise. <laughs> Glad to see you. How's the Seahawk? Never better. Good. They're loading her now. We hope she'll be able to sail in the morning. Something special? Seahawk's going to find some missing Japanese warships. Missing? At least 30 first-class Japanese fighting ships, not counting auxiliaries, are unaccounted for by intelligence. We don't know where they are, why they are, or what they consist of. But there's some big actions coming up. Knowing where they're building up a reserve force can be the difference between winning or losing a battle, even the war. 30 prime ships can't just disappear. Well, these did. They've been slipping away from their units one at a time and holding up somewhere. Our recon planes haven't been able to locate them? Well, the Seahawk came up with the first clue. Lieutenant Turner's information has given us a slight idea of the general course they've been taking. Okay, Captain, give me my orders and I'll shove off. Top secret. Takes maximum security to hold on to this stuff these days. About my orders, Captain. If I'm shoving off tomorrow, I'm going to have to. The have Seahawks another... leaving without you, Dean. What? Jim Merton has been recalled to Washington. I need help here. Top grade help. And you're it. No, sir. I'm no desk gladiator. The Seahawks been mine ever since she was commissioned. I'm not leaving her now. To your new job, Commander. I don't want to be an office admiral. Well, neither do I. But they thought I could serve best up here, so I took it. That's why you're going to take it. I want you here. I want to be out on that boat, sir. Give me one more patrol. No. I have one satisfaction, at least. Bill Hallahan knows the Seahawk as well as I do. He gets her, doesn't he? He's been my exec on six patrols. The board will decide who your replacement will be. I'll put in my two cents for Hallahan, but that's all I can promise you. To your new job. The promotion is inevitable. Lean back in your swivel chair and enjoy it. It's so good to touch you again. I've got a wonderful roast that needs tending. Let it wait. Not at the price I paid for it. Fix us a drink, will you? looks beautiful. I was hoping to have the place furnished when you got back. Don't bother. Maybe sending me back to the States. What do you mean? The captain has issued a, a negative report on me. He says I'm too academic, too intellectual to skip her a sub. Well, maybe the milk of human kindness just doesn't run through my veins. He's crazy. You're a warm, sweet person. Would you give me that in writing? I may need it. Oh, Helen, I tried. I, I really tried. I guess I just don't know how to be one of the boys, that's all. You were only out three weeks. You didn't have a chance to get through to the men. If they only knew you as I do. Thanks, but you're prejudiced. Say, uh, how'd you know I was coming in? Womanly intuition. And a hint from Captain Borden's wife. Oh, oh uh, this came for you by courier about an hour ago. To appear before a selection committee at 1700 hours. I'm losing no time with that axe, are they? No matter what they say, I love you. Mm -hmm. 
a roast. It'll burn to a crisp. Let it burn. We'll eat sardines. Initiation is officially on now. I don't think Nancy would like me being here. Hazy. Hazy, you short-changing brass knuckle artist. How are you? Still looking for live ones, Chief, and uh, that lets you out. Not this time, honey. Better. I got obligations, rent, uh, union dues, uh, appreciation, things like that. Uh huh. What is it? Male, human, I hope. Is he a Seahawk man? Uh huh. Oh, he's a nice kid, but he's got problems. Won't take a drink and won't look at a dame. He is sick. Oh, he's got a girl back in Wheatfield, Kansas. He would. I think we ought to wise him up a bit. You'll make that poor little girl in Kansas a terrible husband if you don't know his way around. Let's take a closer look at it. Stand up and say hello to Maisie. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry. I got another dress at home. I had a French poodle who looked just like you. Say, you're cute. Come dance with me, poodle. Do you think I ought to? The most part of your initiation. made his decision? Yep. Can I go tell Hallahan? I'm afraid not. Hallahan didn't get it? Oh, that's a dirty load. Lieutenant down. Commander Stoker. I'm sorry, sir. Well, I hope they give Bill a transfer to another boat then. Seahawks sailing in the morning. There's no time to replace him. Yeah. Oh, I'll send him in. Who got it? He's coming in now. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Lieutenant Commander Turner is in command of the Seahawk. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Turner. Thank you, sir. You know your general orders. Find the Japanese fleet being held in reserve and report. More specific orders will be given you tomorrow. Good luck, Turner. I'll do my best with her, sir. Did they read my report on him, Captain? That man doesn't have a friend aboard the Seahawk. We weren't looking for personality officers for this mission. He belongs in a professor's gown with a piece of chalk in his hand. He's fully qualified. He was an exec officer aboard the Goldfish. Oh, that was in peacetime. Studied orientology at Oxford for four years. For two years, was consulting technician with the Japanese Navy. <laughs> we pulled some dandies, haven't we? 
Help build our enemy's fleet. Anyways, he knows more about Japanese ships and the men who sail them than anyone else in the Navy. He's cold. He's aloof. I'd hate to serve under him, I'll tell you that. It was his observations that let us know the enemy was withdrawing first-class fighting ships and hiding them somewhere. He's the right man to find them. I better go tell Bill Hallahan. Sorry, Dean. Sure. Why don't you go down to Fu Chow's and bring back some American-type food? Don't be gone too long. I'm getting sleepy. Well, don't worry. Maisie will keep you awake. Slip this on. It'll make you feel more native. More virile. What do we talk about? I've made a special study on fertilizers. We could talk about that. Oh, how interesting. Fish makes a good fertilizer. I don't know how a girl could resist such romantic talk. Nancy and I talk about such things for hours. Oh, you must thrill her no end. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. Island fever's getting you. Let me put a little tonic in your milk. You're very good to me. I'll write mother about you. Oh, you just do that. feel better already. One more should cure you. a Seahawk man. They want you aboard the Seahawk. Just ten minutes more, huh? I think I'll kiss you. Well, let's go, sailor. Beat it, punk. Come busting in at a time like this. Come on, Sonny. I'll beat you to a pulp. See you next trip, Maisie. Time to shove off. Are you sure you don't want me to go down to the dock with you? I prefer domestic goodbyes. You're a good man, Skipper. Sooner or later, it'll get through, crew. I sure hope you're right. I am. Got to go. I love you. I love you. Good luck, darling. I'll see that you get transferred next time in. 
Maybe I'll even have that command for you. Who are you kidding, Dean? This is my last chance to get it. I'll be working on it. No, no, I've had it. Just get me on another book, will you? She's all yours, Commander. She's a good boat. Your orders. Not to be open till you're underway. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant Hallahan knows this old tub as well as I do. He'll help you get to know her. Very good, sir. Well, good luck, Skipper. Bill? Lieutenant J.G. David Shore. Signed to the Seahawk as operations officer. Welcome aboard, Shore. Thank you, sir. Ready to get underway, sir? Pass the word. Stand by to get underway. Seahawk will patrol between Pearl Harbor and the Marianas Island group. Primary objective, reconnaissance. Reconnaissance? The men will love this. They're giving it to you easy on your first patrol, Captain. Yours too, Mr. Shore. I see by your orders this is your first tour. I won't hold you back, sir. I made the top third of my class. Well, then you should be a whiz at maps and charts. Go get them. Let's get on to business. Look, Hallahan, this is not to be a shooting patrol. It's more important that we identify enemy warships and plot their course than it is to sink them. These recon patrols are murder. The Seahawks a fighting boat, always has been. Well, this time she's on a more important mission. Shall I tell the crew? Not yet. I want them kept at maximum efficiency. You may tell the officers. I want to know whenever enemy shipping is sighted, night or day. Our position right now is somewhere about here. We've got something, Captain. Take this down. The ghetto class 9040, tonnage 2000. Doing about 20 knots, maximum 36. Riding low in water, estimated crew 250. Down scope. So I'll get a reading on a course and send it to Pearl. She's a plump, sir. We could take her. She isn't expecting trouble. I only wish we had speed enough to follow her. I'd like to know where she's going. Captain, we may never get a chance like this again. Take it out of 100 feet. I tell you, he had a clear shot of that destroyer, of one of their new babies. Yeah, and he wouldn't even shoot. Uh, he must know what he's doing. Can you just picture Stoker going down into 100 feet with one of those babies in sight? The minute I knew Turner was in command, I began to feel we were jinxed. Yeah, we're on one of those Jonah patrols. It's a good thing Hallahan's aboard, because if things get too rough, he can always take over. I smell nothing but trouble. Yeah. All right, stow it, Sam. Getting careless. I like some more drills. She hung at 20 feet in that last dive. Next drill, let's try flooding her bow tanks faster, much faster. I think she'll hold a stern down, anyways. Well, we'll try it. How's the crew shaping up? Pretty good. How about Shore? Well, he knows his work, but he's a little unstable yet. He's given sea duty too fast. You can't tell about men like that until you've seen them with the chips down. You resent me very much, don't you? I can live with it. It wasn't your fault they bypassed me. I wish I knew what I could do to overcome that resentment. Well, you made a start by saying that, Skipper.
Take a look at this. She's a natural setup. Let's sink her. I told you this is not a shooting patrol. Plot a course. Down scope. We are approaching a main supply route. Double lookouts. Are we going to take a shot at anything? We have more important business, Mr. Shaw. We could have sunk half a dozen Jap ships. The men are grumbling. The officers, too, I notice. I could have stayed on the beach. I thought I'd be fighting a war. You will be. You're due on watch, Shaw. That man can be trouble. Yeah, he's unstable, all right. Look, Halloran, judging by what we've seen this past week, backtracking would intercept right about here. Now, their good equipment has gone west-northwest. Their junk seems to be just wandering around. They could be decoys. And what does it mean? I don't know. But I hope to find out pretty soon. Quiet out here at night. You'll get used to it. I've been thinking. How can they put 89 lives in the hands of a green skipper? He only knows one command. Take her down. Take her down. He's following his orders. He runs every time there's a chance of attack. You know what I think he's got behind that arrogance of his? Fear. Fear and uncertainty. You want to know another thing about these self-sufficient guys? They're the first to crack up. You're relieved, Mr. Shaw. Go get yourself some sleep. <sighs> Batteries charge it? Yeah, just about. Secured. All right, take it down. Level off at 150 feet. Rate for depth charge attack. All motors are head full. A torpedo. This boat's jinxed. I feel it in my bones. Did you hear that? It's when you don't, you're in trouble. Anything on sonar? No, they've lost us, sir. Oh. Let's hope we stay lost. Take over, Hallahan. We got down and take a look at the quartermaster.
dead. I figured he'd had it. It's my first casualty. I feel like I killed him myself. Captain, the radio's up. The antenna's smashed, the set's badly battered, too. We've got to transmit. I gotta get through the pearl. Then we'll rig a temporary antenna tonight. Tonight's no good. I got every now. We've just been bombed, Captain. They may be back. That is a calculated risk we have to take. Calculated? Yeah, they're waiting a pearl to compute my findings. You take her up now, and you'll be jeopardizing the boat and every man on it. Look, we have to get through. This is an enemy supply route. There must be an American striking force in the area. So what? Well, if we spot one, we signal for protection while we make repairs. Well, subs have no friends in enemy waters. Why, one of our own ships would sink us. We'll risk it. I need that radio. Hey, stop there! <laughs> Clear. Service. One of our own destroyers, sir. Signal to her. Tell her we're making emergency repairs. Sonar reports high speed screws heading directly towards us. High speed? How high? 28 knots. So to ram us, not help us, Skipper. Clear the bridge. Dive! Dive! by sonar. Yeah, she didn't believe our signal. One sonar won't stop her either. That charge by one of our own tin cans. Boy, that's some skippering for you. There's a double whammy on this tub. Screws are fading out, sir. They've lost contact. About time. No, she's all yours. Well, bad news, Captain. The radio man says we need parts for a first-class repair job. Well. Just have to take a second class one. We can't turn back for a rendezvous with a repair ship. We'll do the best we can. Can we transmit yet? Half an hour or so. They're rigging a temporary antenna now. Well, get these off to Pearl as soon as you can. Right. I uh, finally made contact with the Seahawk. Now, what happened to her? She nearly got rammed by one of our own destroyers. Knocked her radio out. There's your captain for you. Attacking the U.S. fleet. I knew a captain once who let a fish go at a U.S. transport. Lucky he missed. Now, that was different. It was dusk. It uh, was lucky I missed. Yeah. Some more enemy ship positions. Listen to this. Request permission to have boundaries of patrol removed. Would like to investigate theory on missing enemy fleet section. Permission granted. That's the only thing that's holding up Operation Forager. Not knowing where they've hidden their stuff. Forager will be the biggest thing yet. Navy, Marines, Army, Army Air Corps, and the undersea fleet. We'll all be in it. Our radio turner to proceed in his own judgment. Right. Yes, something. 
The Zua seaplane carrier converted into a tanker. She can go 20 knots. Wonder where she's going. I know where I'd like to send her. Two destroyers convoying one tanker, shielding her from attack. Whatever she's carrying must be very important. One destroyer on each side of her. Like they're ready to take anything aimed at the tanker. Bill, this might be what we've been looking for. We've got to take a crack at this one. <laughs> hey, now you're talking. Hang on about. 20 degrees port. 20 degrees port. Range, 3200. 3200. Speed, give me a 16 knot setup. 16 knots. Down scope. Stand by. Stand by. So it's a shooting war after all. Those will be a bar shot. Make ready tubes one, two, three, and four. Make ready tubes one, two, three, and four. Set depth 20 feet. Set depth 20 feet. This next will be a shooting observation. Up scope. Zig. Hang on about now. Two five starboard. Two five starboard. Bearing. Mark. Three two. Range eight hundred yards. Eight hundred yards set. Stand by to fire. Fire one. Fire one. Number one away. Okay. Fire two. Fire two. Number two is a miss. Make ready tubes five and six. Make ready tubes five and six. Stand by tubes three and four. Stand by tubes three and four. High speed screws bearing zero four zero, sir. Destroyer escort. We can still get them away, Captain. Down scope. Take it down. All ahead full. Rightful rudder. Okay, we're going down. Two shots and we're going down. Oh, brother. Level off at 200 feet. Rig for depth charge attack. Rig for silent running. Now what? We're under attack. What do you think? Yeah, we could have thrown another couple of fish. The skipper don't believe in taking any chances. Solving the big puzzle to take chances on one tanker. We're really in for it, aren't we? It's a cinch we don't get to see her this time. How long has it been going on? About an hour. If it only hit back. Just sit in this foul, stinking place and wait. Not enough oxygen in here to light a cigarette.
Sir, propeller noise is fading out. Captain? Yeah? Callahan, propeller noise is out. Thanks. Callahan thinks we'll make it. Let's go take a look. Mind if I stay here, Captain? Last one sounded pretty far off. We may make it yet. If we do, I'm gonna drink a quart of that island fever tonic stuff your friend Maisie gave me. Now you're talking like a submariner. All clear. Surface. All clear. All clear. Stand by to surface. You said yourself he could have taken another shot at that tanker. Instead, the skipper took her down. Well, that's a matter of opinion. He may have saved our lives diving when he did. Who are you kidding? He's lost his nerve. You didn't do so bad yourself. Well, you better be ready to take over. If you don't, I will. I mean it. When we get back to port, why don't you transfer to the Merchant Marine? All right, come in, Bill. Sit down. You think I should have stayed with that tanker, don't you? I would have. The tanker was not my objective. I was more interested in the destroyer escort. Two destroyers to convoy one tanker. Why? You're way ahead of me, Captain. First-class Jap fighting ships have gone into hiding. I think they're somewhere in this area. And you think that tanker was heading there, huh? Two or three carriers are known to be in the group. That means planes, which in turn means fuel. Uh, she was doing around 18 knots, right? Well, that's right. You'll hand me this compass, will you? All right. Now, look, Bill. The tanker is still inside this circle, right? Now, according to her mean course, she could be heading for one of the Kalagi Islands. Atsubi, Amagi, Carlos. Well, <laughs> that's screwy. That would put them within striking range of our forces. Both carrier and land-based bombers could hit them. Now, that's why they think we're not going to look for them there. They're lurking around, hoping that we will make the next move. Now, Amagi has no harbor. Carlos is too small to hide that number of ships. That leaves Atsubi. Now, that was a naval base, wasn't it? We blasted hell out of that place four or five months ago. It's a graveyard for Jap wrecks. It'd take them three years to make Atsubi usable again. Not the way they work. Now, here's our position right now. What we're going to do is to pick a point that converges on all three of these islands. Then we straddle it. Well, we've got a little figuring to do here. Right. Radar contact, Captain. Where? Starboard quarter, bearing 150. Range 10,000 yards. Just one, huh? Yes, sir. What speed? About seven knots. Could be a wreck heading for a Zuby. Mm, could be. That's one target we won't miss. Get me a setup to intercept. Just about dawn. There she is, Captain. Skipper. I think I will. 
keep fairly close to her. Rig for siren running, stand by for deep dive on short notice. What are we gonna do, Taylor? Her sonar will pick us up, then where'll we be? That's a gamble we have to take. You have her on sonar? Yes, sir. This is suicide. Let's sink her before she gets us. Now, why don't you pipe down, Shore? A carrier, and you're letting her get away. You're as yellow as he is. She's heading straight for it, Suka. All motors are head full. Full? You're closing the gap between us. They're right on our tail. You know, if they've reactivated that harbor, they'll have submarine nets down. And it'll be mine. Oh, they have to open up the nets to let the carrier in. We'll follow her in. Her sonar will pick us up. Sonar must be out, or they'd have gotten us a long time ago. And I sure would you get me a detailed chart on the Tsui, please? Sure is getting to be a menace. He's a fourth degree neurotic, if you ask me. I recommend reclassification for him when we get back. Well, I'd lock him up. They snap out of it. You've developed a lot of tolerance in a short time, Skipper. Feels good. To the officers and crew, too. Thanks. One torpedo and we blow that carrier to hell. Mr. Hallahan, chemical trouble in the forward engine room. I'll go take a look. Keep her on course. There's something doing in at Subi, all right, sir. I'm picking up ship noises all over the harbor. We go in there, we're dead. some rest. Go down to your quarters. Approaching submarine net, sir.
we made it, Captain. Set her on the bottom. Easy now. Dawn and take a look around. How do we get out of here? It's just a possibility that we don't. We have to radio any vital information. If the Japs locate our signal. I see what you mean. Well, we have till dawn anyway. Ah, sure. Under a heavy sedation. And I posted a guard on it. Periscope, Jeff. A mess of first class men of war out there. Ready to crawl all over us. From behind, as usual. Yeah. We'll transmit for 30 seconds at half hour intervals. That way we may get by their location finders. That's got to keep us here quite a while, then, isn't it? They know where to go with these nets down. Come on, start writing. One large carrier, Chicago class. Two destroyer escorts, Asasio class. Down scope. That's enough for now. Next observation in 30 minutes. One Nissan class battleship, one medium carrier, two modified carriers. Now let's go. Sasio class. Now let's go. Well, that does it. Add a note. All ships seem to be fully manned, but are not ready to get on the way. They should make prime targets. Caught them napping in their own harbor. Their own minefields will make it impossible for them to leave in a hurry. And land base and carrier planes will be ready to strike at 1500 today. The Seahawks still in the harbor. Our own bombs will sink her. I hope not. This little shindig should break their backs. We've got work to do. Turner knew he was a goner the minute he went through those nets. Captain, it... it seems like murder. Yeah? Well, talk to the man who invented war. Coming? Ten hours now, we've been hugging the bottom of Itsubi Harbor. Our mission was to locate a renegade Jap naval task force which they're building in this area. We found it here in Itsubi. However, the area is heavily mined, and submarines. 
Street Nets guard the only clear lane. This information has been relayed to Pearl Harbor, and we can expect an attack at any time. Our position is a very grave one. Regardless of the outcome, I want to thank you all for a job well done. I am proud to have served with all of you. That is all. He made that sound like a funeral oration. I'm afraid that's what it was. Well, one thing we know for sure. We got ourselves a skipper. Just decoded from Pearl. Well done. Coordinated air attack will commence at 1500. Good luck to you and your crew, Boardman. 1500. Nine minutes. <laughs> comes. In the middle of a battle and we can't fire a shot. Uh, Seahawks a miracle boat, Skipper. She'll take it. Who's getting who?
mind so much if they were Jap bombs. Jap or U.S. bombs, let's face it, we're expendable. <laughs> It stops her. You must have given them a real pastry. back there. Chief Flowers and two others, sir. Uh, how bad is the leak? Small one, sir. We'll try and work our way out of here. Now, don't move that stuff. It's part of a ship falling on the bow. All this gear is probably stopping from coming through the hull. Don't touch it. Yes, sir. Now stay put. We'll try and get it off our back. Aye, aye, sir. Look, Andy, I'm going to have to seal off the forward torpedo room. I can't help it. If the leak gets worse, we'll lose the boat. I understand, sir. I'm leaving. Good luck. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Well, get your shirt up and stuff some of these leaks. Okay. Going, Andy? Do they help? Seem to help a lot, sir. How about the torpedo tubes? Any damage? I don't think so, sir. If we get her up, the Seahawk will fight again. Port motor ahead, one third. <laughs>
investigating, sir. Where is the water now, Andy? About three and a half inches now, sir. Burned out a bushing, Skipper. They're working on it. How long will it take? Two hours at the earliest. About four inches now, sir. Twelve inches and we'll never get her up. It's completed, sir. Port motor ahead. One third. Load the negative tank. Starboard motor ahead. One third. Blasted hell out of those submarine nets, anyway. We made it. Andy, we made it. All right, take her up. Slowly. Very slowly. Sylvie. General Quarters. General Quarters. Fire one. Fire one. Fire number two. Fire two. The three on the way, sir. Fire four. I'm ready. You're a submariner. Everything's secured, sir. Good. How sure? The medic's with him now. Sorry, sir. Depth charges knocked our radio out. We weren't able to regain contact. It's a miracle you even brought her back at all. Congratulations, Turner, to you and your crew. It took guts to keep from shooting every time you had a setup. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, the medic's with one of my men. I'd like to look in on him. Excuse me, sir. Well, I got your transfer aboard the swordfish, Bill. Did he leave the Seahawk? You must be out of your mind. Sir. Well, if you're going to be insubordinate, I'm not going to buy you dinner tonight. Now, you got that straight? First, we hit the paradise, then the bucket of blood. Nancy! <laughs>
How was it? Just another hard day at the office. 